So you want to become a Power Query Pro? And Miss M wants you to be one too. So what can we do, Miss M? With Power Query, you just need to put in a little bit of effort to get maximum results. So I've created a series of short videos on how to create some amazing calculations just by using your query editor. And the best part is, no M code needed. So let's go learn how to create these killer calculations and become Power Query Pros. Here we have student test scores out of 150. What we need is a report that provides us with the student names that scored below the average and by how much they were below that average. Here's how to do this. I've named this table test score data. Let's send this to Power Query. First, we need to calculate the average. So let's select the test score column and in the transform tab, click on statistics and click on average. And just the average of those test scores is returned and not our table, as this was a data transformation that was used performing a list function. We do, however, still need to perform more transformations on our table, so we need to get the table back. The last step that returned our table was here in the change type step. So all that we need to do is click on the calculated average step so that it's selected. Then here in the formula bar, we're going to click on the fx to insert a step, and it returns our last applied step, which is the calculated average. But as we want our table to be returned and we know that the change type step was the last step to return our table, let's start typing change type and the IntelliSense brings it up and select that and press enter and we get our table back. Let's rename this step. I'm going to rename this to get table back. You can call it whatever you like. Before we move on to the next step, I just want to remove the space in the calculated average step as this is going to help us in our next step. Next, in the add column tab, click on custom column and here is where we will calculate test scores that are either below or above the average. Let's call this column below average. Next, let's double click on test score to include this in our formula and insert a minus. The value that we want to subtract is the average that we calculated here in calculated average. But we don't have calculated average as an available column. So what we can do is type it out here and click on OK. And we have our calculations showing by how much the students were either above or below the average. Let's change this to a whole number and filter on all the values that are below zero. And that's what our report shows, all students that are below the average. Let's send this back to Excel. Let's add some new data here. And hit refresh. And our query updates automatically based on the new average. Please remember to hit the notification bell. If you would like to know when the next video in this series is released. Why, thank you, Mr. Freeman.